Hey guys, how are we doing today? I'm going to try something a little bit different in that uh, I got to think about all you folks that are stuck at home with uh, no resources or or not able to run out to the store and grab stuff. I thought, why don't I try and find some scrap wood. I meant to grab a skid this morning, but uh, I forgot. But I found these pieces of wood that uh, for some reason I couldn't throw at the time. These are two by threes of looks like pine. But, you know, it's the old uh, IKEA type throwaway pieces. And I thought uh, instead of using one of my uh, carving knives, I'll grab uh, one of my bushcraft carvers, like Mora's, and uh, I try and carve a little man out of a piece of scrap wood. And uh, I give you a hope for <laughs> looking around your house for something to do. Like I said, probably not a tutorial. I've got a whack of tutorials, but if I can uh, show you that I can take a take a mora knife and a scrap of pine and whittle away some time, then uh, there's hope for you to uh, to dig in without uh, being able to get your supplies. So that's what we're gonna do today. I do not carve caricatures with these knives. These are like uh, these are for like spoon carvers. Not uh, they're thicker. They're bullyful strong. But that's because they got a thick, thick spine on them. So they're they're good slicers, good good bushcraft uh, carving knives and craft knives, but uh, not necessarily any good for uh, for the little guys. So I'm gonna take my little 120 today and uh, I'll grab a piece of pine or whatever this wood is. I think I'm sure it's pine, and uh, whack off a piece. Now what I'm looking for is. See that? Knots and really uh, pronounced grain in there, which is going to be probably stringy. Again here, knots. So I want to find a piece that's uh, as clear as I can get. So again, knot. You're never going to carve that knot very nice. So that knot is basically here. So I got how deep do these go? These little holes. Oh, they only go with that deep. So, I've got hope here. I think I can get a little a little section out of here. So, I'm going to use my hand saws too, just to, uh, to even the playing field. And uh, we'll just cut a little piece out of here and have a go at it. by uh, a little over inch and a quarter. Let me just show you quick for comparison's sake. That's the Mora 120. This is my Halby. There's a, a flex cut. Okay. See the uh, the thickness difference. And that's why we like these little knives for the the slicing of the chunks. You can really lift off a lot of wood. These are great for like long curls and whatnot, and for uh, spoon carvers and other other types of carving. But you're not gonna we're not gonna get those real nice big pieces off. But regardless, I said before that uh, my first carving was done with an adventure sworn woodsman, which was a bigger. A bigger knife than that so it can be done we've got a little fan base set up here hoping for another another family member <laughs> all right yellow pencil so again not really a tutorial but we'll just go at it obviously the feet look at the butt it's like a I'll make the head down here Here we go. <laughs> it should go without saying that uh, you should have a, a carving glove or some kind of a safety 
Glove. Oh boy. This is not basswood. And a good sharp knife. I just dropped this one fresh, but this wood is old and dry. Wow. But that is the purpose of the video. We should have a center line here. Put a center line right down. Put a center line right around the whole fella. Let's do it the side too. All right. When you have a curved blade too, it's nice. You really have to get into the uh, the sliding. You can slide and cut too, which uh, I'm gonna have to incorporate a little bit more. I can't do all push cuts with this. The beauty with the knife like this though, such a strong knife. It's so, uh, these guys are brittle. You don't wanna, you can bend them and tweak them, but this thing's uh, pretty much bulletproof. Let me do the front of the, uh, find the face here so I can get the head marked in. That's uh, our chin. We're gonna bring it up here. I wanna remove some of this wood off the back, so I wanna get the head set in place. That angle. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of the back off. shape to it. Alright, let's dig right in here. Nasty.
I hope you're not holding me to the, uh, the regular standard of videos. This is very uh, impromptu. Just to, to give you something to watch, give myself a challenge. Could call it how not to carve, but you know the difference is is that if you're giving this a go at home it doesn't matter if this takes you eight hours to do this I'm just rushing for uh, for the video but take your time enjoy the process that for now. I'm going to feel better when I know where those arms are going to be. So I guess we're going to put his hands in his pockets. So we'll just give him his arms just behind the center line. We'll go. See that? Something like that. multiple multiple cuts down don't try and push it in it's gonna flip over and you're gonna stick that knife through your hand I think I'll do this one side. I don't want this video to be too long either. I'll do one side and then I'll just match the other side. That chatter is actually not so much the knife, it's this, it's the green. See that? Really uh, strong green there. Talking, Doug. 
I keep talking. Oh, that green is nasty. Okay, let's uh, so that's our our hand in our pocket. We just need to uh, make a little cut on the back side. Try for a bit of a V. Okay, good enough for now. There is our one arm, and I will copy that on the other side. All right, All right. we got uh, both arms done. Kind of brutal, but they're in there. So I think I'll uh, still gonna undercut this chin a bit more. That shape we got there. Trying to get that chin out. I'm gonna bring the thin the thin the face up. It's nice to have a nice angled face. To work with almost to a 45 degree and right to that center line All right. now his head's pretty his head's pretty wide still figure out what we're gonna do with them okay so I'm gonna put that nose pretty much centered on his face Maybe uh, three eighths. Gonna give the gonna bring the nose up and the eyes down. Our typical uh, cartoon face. And before we get super detailed, I like to uh, figure out the the hair. So I think I'm gonna 
take this. Got to got to lose that whole round area there. So get all that saw marks off. Sides. I'm going to uh, draw a, a hairline in here. Ideally, the same on both sides, and we'll give them some kind of a a hairdo. Okay. This is where the V tool would be nice to have. But we're gonna just use the knife. get here. See where I am here? I'm going to come up and just define that uh, that jaw more by losing that little little area in here. And your hair is on its own and your jaw is on its own. It's not blended together. Now we're going to uh, thin the hair up, but see what I'm talking about? So see on that side, the jaw goes in. Now we come up and we separate that. Again, basically another three quarter cut. Okay. Now I can see I'm not getting that same shine that I was getting. Some little scratches. So depending on how hard your wood is, it would be a good time to, uh, to get out your strop and uh, give her a good strop and knife all nice and sharp again. And I think you can see we got the goopy little hair helmet on here so I think I'm gonna give him an 80s center part and we'll have his hair just kind of flowing back feathered back And grain is difficult. Right. So we got the the part. So we need a a V in the front here. So we gotta separate that front a little more, just to show that it's it's parting there. Wood wants to chip there. So, a little, a little undercut.
Okay, we're gonna leave the hair for now. Well, there's our little little 80s feathered hair. So, back to the eyes. We're gonna get these uh, eyes backed up here a little bit. Give us some more room. Gonna bring that nose out a little more. Lots of room now for our eyeballs. I'm going to uh, switch angles for you. We're getting there. See where his hands are in his pockets here? We're way too wide here, so I want to bring in the feet. I want to narrow the bottom. So. Try and do that. I should. Oh shoot! I still got a hole. <laughs> I didn't cut it far enough. But that might work out. Look at that. Actually, that couldn't be any more perfect. Center line. Hole. So I can. I can incorporate that hole. Oh, that's a lucky break. We can make that work. Okay, anyway, we're going to thin that up. Slices is the key. There. And thin that up. That's looking better. Boy, it is a uh, it is different with this knife. So, see what I'm doing here? I'm just taking a little bit of a hollow out of here. That's just going to accentuate that his hands are in his pockets. See that? So it looks like there's a little, little bit of a bulge there. Probably, probably too much. Let's kind of round that over. Now we got that tapered down a bit more. Let's uh, draw some pants on the sides. And then from the pockets, we'll just kind of undercut. Give it a little, a little hang. What do we got like that? Anybody here? See how it's. Guy's sweater just kind of hangs there. We'll do something like that. Okay. There, we refound the little little butt there. Let's put our knife up to it. We'll get a little little V cut each way separate the legs doesn't 
have to be super dramatic. Just what are we getting there? Pants, we'll just take the pant line down there, come from the shoe side, just notch that in. Right. Give it a couple little little wrinkles. When in doubt, add a wrinkle. Okay. Something else we can do too. We can put a little sole on the shoe. This is obviously a V tool would be fantastic here. But just a little little bit cut. Get the dirt off of there. So, I'm going to go around Finish that V-cut around the shoes, match the pants on the other side, and come back to the face. Actually, before we do that, let's uh, let's set this sweater in. Wood's chipping on me. That's okay. like that. All right. And there we got our our pants and shoes all set. But one little thing we got to do here is uh just we need a little V cut just to split the legs like the same as the back. So just going to dig that knife in. Don't want to go uh too deep. You can really start chasing those cuts if you start digging in, digging in. So I just want to do a little, little beat cut in there without having to chase it. When I mean chase it, I mean you start and you go a little bit more, a little bit more, and you end up digging a big hole. That's all we wanted, just that little, little split. I lost my center. Where am I? Okay, so now we're gonna give him a nose. I'm gonna try and maintain a little bit of that shelf 
by going to this depth and not all the way. Does that make sense? Come on. Now you can always make it smaller, but you can't make it bigger. So start big. Start big and you can go smaller. So see what I mean? How I saved a little bit of that shelf. Bring that in a little bit. Claim a little bit more shell space here. Oh, you nasty wood. <laughs> All right. So let's give him some uh, smile lines here. Feels a little bit, uh, a little bit younger than the regular old bearded men that I do. Pointy cuts. This deepens that nose. Did I tell you this wasn't basswood before? <laughs> Let's draw these uh, eyes on here. All right. This could be interesting. So much thicker. This guy uses a point. Yeah. Come across the bottom. Can live with that. Yeah, 
and smile. Bottom lip, turn it lower. <sighs> Just wetting them to show you the highlights, but that was brutal. That was tough, tough going. I will now sympathize with all those who can't find basswood on the daily, but this wasn't normal pine either. This was hard, hard, old, dry stuff. But anyway, we've got a little, a little man here. And I think, all things considered, he's not too bad. I'm going to uh, paint him up, and then I'm going to come back and... Uh, close her out so stay tuned of course it's only gonna be like two seconds for you but stay tuned anyway <laughs> and back that didn't take too long did it here's our little guy all painted up let's see if I can get you focused on him focus so he's a different <laughs> different shape fella but Normally I do uh, use a V-tool and, and put the hair in, but uh, you just see how that, I don't know if you can see how that, the grain of the wood, it just pops for the hair. Looks pretty cool. But anyway, that's it. So, I hope this helps. If you guys are looking for inspiration, like, start small. Start with the, uh, I have all kinds of tutorials and videos from the, carving from the coloring book just simple little carvings and uh, that you can do with just things you can find around the house so go cut that table leg off and have at her with the knife didn't use anything but uh, a mora knife for this guy so it can be done it's not the easiest it's uh, a lot better with the with a real carving knife but that's not the point the point is you have time and uh, it's just a little bit slower going. I kind of rushed through this, expecting more, more speed. Like I, I really want to get it done because I'm trying to film it. But uh, you got all day, so have at her. Wear a safety glove, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.